So I've just arrived, it's the middle of summer, a massive storm to welcome me. So uh, anyway, it should be good fishing. So I've just got to get down to my uh, place and yeah, check it out. anything on the first session but it looks like it's got plenty of potential and um, I think it's just a question of getting to the right places in the right time so um yeah hopefully it's up. okay so I'm gonna go down and fish here I just arrived yesterday and had a quick session but no luck yeah, so I'm going to try this um, this other spot that I remember I fished here about, must have been about eight years ago. And it's a nice point, it's just about 10 or 15 minute walk down. And there's some deeper water there. It's almost dark down here and it's the uh, middle of the afternoon. It's nice and cool. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's a fantastic spot. I'm almost running to get there so many different ways but I'm pretty sure I've got to keep to the left it's a long while ago that I fished here uh, hmm. I think it's this side there's a spot here I'm going to get round to this left bit sure if this is the way it looks like it drops off really deep okay so at least the sun's on its way down this wind's gone it's beautiful conditions to fish in as in comfortable very little swell but the water's really clear so it's going to get better as it gets now more towards the sundown it's really deep here it must be about at least 40 meters still going down okay, I think that's it I was just jigging down this slim minnow just jigging it down it's really deep here What the heck's that? It's live bait. <laughs> Down he goes. Okay, so about 15 minutes before dark I've got a big walk up the cliffs up there so I can't leave it too long I've got to pack up and get up the cliff but it's a good time now so it's next 10 or 15 minutes best chance of hooking something because it's really clear conditions now the sun's going down should get more active and better for lure fishing. It's the prime time, it's really deep here, must be what 40, 50 meters down there. I've done I've done some jigging down there. Actually it'd be good to do it now, it's just so I wanna see if there's any bluefish about. And I think they're gonna be higher up. I've got a 90 gram tweak bait on.
slipping, eh? fish before dark. Let's see if I can get one more got time for one one or two more casts. Okay at least I got one finally so hopefully that's the start of I've got to get moving quick because I don't know this place so well and it's getting pretty dark so I'm gonna get back up. Fishing a while sun's getting quite low now got the, one of these new airbrush lures that I'm testing it looks really good in the water and I put it on because it's sort of matching the fish that are close to the edge here with some small little bait fish around the edge about the same size and real similar color so hopefully if a blue fish passes by it should be game on in theory but I just hope there's some fish about. As the lure's looking great and it's, as I was saying, it's uh, matching in with uh, the bait fish I've seen around and around these edges, these little dark, almost black colored fish. So I think this spot is really good because sort of at the end of this bay, and these blue fish are gonna work their way up and around all these headlands. We're just going to be patrolling through. Uh, there's not many around at the moment, that's for sure, but you just never know when they're going to appear. So I've just got to keep at it. It's perfect time to be fishing, for sure. Sun just going down. Not only is it the best time for lure fishing, it's just everything's so peaceful at this time until the fish hits your lure and then your adrenaline's going. Oh, I'm on again. Okay, so I'm on. I've got a little oh, I've got a ledge. Oh, good one. Got a ledge in front of me, so don't want to get on that ledge anymore. Oh, keep him away. What the? I think he must have bitten through. Okay, that's a real shame. He must have bitten me off there because there's no rocks where he was there. He was right by the, the knot. So, yeah, definitely, that's a bit of bad luck. Because normally the lure acts as a protection, but must have gone over it a bit. That was a fairly good sized bluefish then. Double figure for 100% so a bit of a bugger so still time I think I've got till dark that 10 or 15 minutes the sun's on its way down I've got the white lure on now because the other dark lure he's nabbed that one and uh, I haven't got another one with me it's a shame I didn't want to lose that lure Well, luckily it's a bit of moon tonight, so it should help getting back over these rocks. Give me a few extra minutes. Just need a few more minutes. There's a chance of getting another hook up. Yeah, on the fishing, um, fishing site for this area, it said zero stars today. 
goes up to five. So today is like, I suppose it's the middle of the moon cycle a little bit more. And uh, smaller tides, um, they say bad for fishing, but just shows you. I mean, I lost the fish, unfortunately, but It's gone out a long way. Let it drop. Just a couple of few feet down. And keep that rod tip really low. What tactic I'm using for, for these tonight is I'm casting out into the clean water there. Quite getting right out there, there's a rip there. And I'm kind of bringing it in pretty fast with the rod tip down. That uh, sort of zigzag inside to side. You can put a bit of action extra into it if you want. And then when I get on this inside a bit here, I'm just going to slow it down and pause. And just tap it through. Yeah, tweak it through there. Just took the lure out right by the edge. Oh, I don't believe it, it just jumped out right by the edge. I thought it... <sighs> okay, that was um, uh, probably the best session yet, although I didn't even catch anything. I hooked a nice one, and uh, yeah, and it just must have covered completely the lure. Um, yeah, and as soon as I put some pressure on after it jumped, it broke right through the leader and I got razor sharp teeth these bluefish. So I mean, if it's on the line, it'd be a strong leader, but um, yeah, I didn't want to use metal, you know, for the lure fishing because the, the lure normally does the job. And then um, 10 minutes later, I saw another one chasing some like garfish and um, yeah, I stuck the lure around there. And just as I was bringing out another big one came up, just as I just missed my lure. As I pulled it out so um, anyway at least I know where to go tomorrow and be back on it um, but yeah that both of those fish must have been around the 15 pound mark which is pretty good blue fish they are bigger but you know I'll be happy with those so hopefully tomorrow so I think it's about half an hour 20 minutes before sundown so it's a really good time and I'm back at the same spot I was uh, yesterday evening so it's definitely worth giving it another go. It's not as big, I don't think it's quite as big swell tonight. But I think it's, you know, it looks good. Tide's coming up, so it's not far off high tide. I'm using the uh, 50 gram enticer tweak. It's one of the, the prototype mullet air sprayed mullet. And it, well, it hooked up last night. And it does look good and it was really resembling all the bait fish that I was seeing following. I haven't seen them tonight. fish actually I don't know yet if it's gonna go it's quite a good one I don't know it's not bad Bring him out 
here. The wire is only thin, so I don't want to force this against those razory teeth. I'm just going to try and... I might have to walk him up here, actually. I think it's going to be easier here. There's a little... Yes, it's easier here. Come on, stay on. He doesn't want to come in, of course. He came off. Okay, it's a nice blue fish. It's about another hour's fishing le uh, left, so I'm gonna see if I can get another one. Another, right out there, I had a big hit, and I struck and immediately broke the leader right by the lure. So another one right over the lure. I'm gonna really have to think about using some wire not really had that trouble before normally they you know hit the lure and you know the teeth are on the lure that's the time about I suppose 10 minutes more casting so it's enough if there's anything else out there on again so fortunately this one didn't go over I don't think it's that big I would get out to that ledge but around this way oh, it's a barracuda that's why that's probably what bit me off one of these that might have been what bit me off a minute ago actually, I don't know, could have just hit the leader. So the wind swell sort of turned into more ground swell now, you've got to be really careful. Sort of ideal situation for those bluefish I reckon. But as it's getting higher now, you be really careful. It's like last night, the waves are just crashing over here as the tide gets higher. Okay, just changed lures to the 90 and literally second cast hook up. <sighs> Got to get it out now. Not yet, anyway. The little one, the one around it as well, bigger one I think, yeah much bigger one around it. Okay it's a small blue fish there after yesterday's one, 
just changed over to the 85 gram. So yeah, there's another one bigger swimming around him. They often go around together. So well, I'm gonna get him back quick anyway. So I just came to check this spot today. Fished here a few times before and in the past even. It's a really good spot here. These bluefish will be heading up and along all these headlands and points. They'll be just cruising in, just sitting in the backwash there. Me, trying to take the hook jumping out there now I just got to worry about how the heck I'm gonna get this fish out whoa a nice blue fish I just came to test this spot out there's some big swell here Well, I'm not looking forward to getting him out. That's for sure. You don't want one of those bloody ways to take me in. <laughs> If I do this right, I should be able to get him up with a, with a wave and then just wait the right moment. Nice blue fish there. He hit when there was um, a big, then there was a big set, and then um, luckily getting him out was okay because there was a nice lull and I could get down. But I'm going to get him back in. Okay, I've got to get back now. Uh, time to go. Got to have something to eat quick. Pack up. Um, off to meet my family and uh, hopefully do a bit of bass fishing. It's been a really good trip. I had a few nice fish. Um, yeah, a few come off as as can happen, but it's been uh, great fun and it's absolutely beautiful here. So I'm hoping I'll get back uh, next year or at least in the you know, next two years. I won't leave it so long. It's been about eight years since I was uh, targeting bluefish, and yeah, it's really good fun. So uh, thanks for watching.